Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use a fine line painting pen with metallic watercolor. This tool allows you to draw precise fine lines and dots with paint watered down to an ink-like fluid consistency. This tool is also known as a detailing applicator for touching up chips and cracks in automotive paint. A few companies offer the same tool under different brand names, but I could only find a set of two that include the thinner, extra fine tip from King Art brand. I'll put links in the description for anything I use in the video. These metal tools have a tiny reservoir cup with a hollow, blunt syringe type end, just like the shape of an extremely miniature funnel. The flexible red rubber cap is used to create a plunger suction when cleaning out the tool, and if you happen to clog the tip, the thin wire can be poked through to clear the blockage. By far the hardest part about using this tool is knowing how thick your paint can be. It's a learning curve knowing how much water to use, loading it with the right milky consistency to prevent it from clogging. It does not work well with chunky particle paints like glittery effect colors made with coarse pigments instead of smooth metallics. It may also be challenging to use textural granulating watercolors or gouache thick enough to remain opaque. Most fine particle metallic watercolors work really well though, like these Imuki and Colero fine tech colors, or even Paul Rubens. Several companies offer the fine line painting pen individually, but not the extra fine one by itself. I think that that larger 0.5 millimeter one is definitely easier to use. The extra fine 0.25 millimeter gets clogged or skips easier, even with paints that worked well in the larger one. If you decide to try both sizes, definitely learn how to use the larger one first. Imuki, a brand mainly found on Amazon USA, makes this affordable 12 half pan metallic watercolor set, which was perfect for testing out these tools. Six of these colors were also part of their larger pan set that I reviewed last year. They are similar to Paul Rubens in reflective shine, but not quite as densely pigmented as I did notice that I wore through the Imuki pans faster. All of the colors show up very well on black or white paper. When used in the fine line painting pen, they give the appearance of drawing with liquid metal. So I learned the hard way that waxy transfer papers or a wax-based colored pencil like the white I used to draw the butterfly on black paper was a bad idea. The waxy residue repelled the paint, causing me to have to go back and forth over the lines. While it's interesting to be able to draw or doodle with metallic watercolors, I think my favorite use for the pens is more to add fine lines or dots over my normal watercolor and ink art. When used with the edge of a ruler or a flat edge of your paper, you can get a far more precise line than using a paintbrush. These also have a bigger capacity, so they're able to draw for longer without re-dipping compared to a detail brush. The blunt tip of these pens did not drag across or rip the paper like a technical pen or a calligraphy dip pen nib would. The tip stopped flowing paint as soon as I lift it from the page, making it really nice for repetitive pointillism dots. I'd love to hear if you've used this tool or if you can think of a good use for it in your art. Let me know in the comments.
If you'd like to see more, you can find all of my detailed swatch card images, results from my independent light fast testing, and other art supply reviews on my website. I'm currently building a huge pigment database where thousands of colors can be compared side by side with paint from other brands. Updates about this project, along with line art drawings and high res color scans, are also available on Patreon. Thanks for watching.